Fatigue risk impacts all aspects of rotorcraft operations. Fatigue-related alertness deficits accumulate relative to factors such as long days, sleep dead, and night work. The question is, how much fatigue is too much? Being fatigued is a biological condition and willpower is not a reliable fatigue countermeasure. Scientific studies have shown that high levels of fatigue result in alertness deficits that are comparable to individuals who are drunk. While it would be clearly unacceptable for a pilot or mechanic to report for duty drunk, it commonly occurs that crew members report for duty in a fatigue state, even though the degree of deficits may be like being drunk or with a BAC of 0.08. Most rotorcraft operations have policies that enable crew members to take themselves out of duty if they feel too fatigued to safely perform their duties. This approach relies on crew members' subjective self-assessment of their own fatigue level. This approach is not reliable because research studies have shown that when we have a sleep debt, we systematically underestimate the degree of our own alertness deficits. When we are fatigued, our perception about risk changes and we are willing to accept more risk. And finally, thresholds related to how much fatigue risk is acceptable will vary from person to person and may be biased based on external factors related to production goals. What is needed is a comprehensive approach to fatigue risk management that covers all sources of fatigue risk that is based on a quantitative objective framework has clear thresholds to identify elevated fatigue risk conditions, has predefined workflows to mitigate fatigue risk, and tracks the effectiveness of the whole fatigue risk management process. Fatigue risk management can be accomplished with the application of precision risk controls that will not significantly impact the operation or the economics of the business.